are filling up the garbage can with tap water. And I will show you, we'll test the tap water. Um, after this set, two to three days, um, I'll test the tap water and show you what the parts per million is and how we go from here and that helps a little bit turn light on. Yep, I'll show you what we go from here and how we add the uh, cow mag and the sea kelp and show you what to do to hang tight. Alrighty y'all, we are back and we are looking in the red garbage can that I set up two days ago to allow the chlorine uh, to dissipate out of it. <clears throat> so now we are going to check the um, TDS reading of it uh, with this TDS meter, which is cheap. You can get them on Amazon for like $15, $20, something like that. And we are looking at... About 67 parts per million. 66, 67 parts per million. So we'll go with 66. And uh, we have to keep that, remember that in the back of our head. <clears throat> 66 parts per million. That's what we're starting with. That's See, my water is good. If your water was like 300 parts per million, I would highly recommend you, you know, getting a reverse osmosis unit. Um... Michael Michael had told me, he said that 200 is not bad, and I, I mean, I I think it's pretty high, but, um, you know, uh, Betty, uh, Betty Ward, she is, she is using her tap water, and so far, uh, so good, so I'm pretty sure she is. I need to ask her definitively if she stopped uh, filtering her water. So, but I know we had talked about it, um, and she had asked me how high, and we suggested 200 parts per million, and that's what I asked Michael, and, um, so, but what we're doing is, is we're going to go ahead and do a, um, cow mag and sea kelp mix in this, in this barrel for, that's, that's what I've been watering my fowls in between, uh, my regular fertilizing, but it's also the, what I use for a welcome cocktail for any new orchids. So I, I, it's a multi-purpose use, you know, it's good, it's good for any plant really. It's, you know, any, any plant that is dry that would want to soak in it, I would give it this soak. Okay. So hang tight. Let me show you what I use. Hey y'all. It is Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic week. I unfortunately am not. <laughs> I have um, I have been having a time with my tooth. After I got it fixed, an abscess broke out on the roof of my mouth. And so because of Monday being a holiday, I couldn't be seen. They were booked completely you know, up through. Luckily, my doctor gave me an antibiotic shot and antibiotics by mouth, which I'm going to run out of before I can even get in to be seen because believe it or not, I can't be seen until this coming Tuesday, which is six days away. So I get to deal with this. Uh, it was, it was the size of a marble, which it's now down to like the size of a pea, but I still an abscess on the roof of your mouth is very, unpa very painful, very horrible to have to live with. Um, I'm so aggravated with my dentist, but I'm like, what do you do? Um, any of you know, who've, have dealt with dentists, um, you know, it's, <laughs> it's tough. And I've had the same dentist for a long, long time and they do allow me to make payments, which is nice. It helps. Um, cause you know, I don't have dental insurance and it's very expensive as you well know. So, yeah, but I still can't believe that they, they are not getting me in there. Um, I'm, I'm really upset about it because, um, you know, I've been like in pretty well misery since, since this happened 
And, um, I mean, I felt so bad Monday. I didn't even get to do weekend walk around. I haven't even got to get it done yet. So I'm actually doing this one cause this is Friday's video. Um, so I'm trying to get it done and then, um, I'll try to do weekend walk around after it. And then I've got to make two more videos for the week. So, but I mean, luckily the swelling's down and everything, but like she said at the dentist office that in, until they do a root canal or whatever and get rid of it, um, yeah, then you're looking at, you know, it's going, it's not going to go completely away. So I'm going to have to deal with it till I can get in there and get it taken care of. And a root canal is, you're looking at like right around a grand, right around. Yeah. So, um, yeah, nothing much else I can do. I mean, what, you know, teeth, teeth are horrible. Teeth are so, and because of my Sjogren's, I have dry eyes, dry mouth, and my teeth go bad really fast anyways and quickly because I don't make enough saliva to, you know, I'm not to be gross, but <laughs> that's just what it is. Um, it causes dry eyes, dry mouth because you don't make enough um, tears and enough spit to keep your teeth and, you know, you have dry mouth all the time and dry eyes. And it's just another one of those wonderful autoimmune things that I deal with. So... Um, but it's really stressful and hard to try to keep a hold of my teeth. You know, it's, um, I, I, I had a partial once and I couldn't deal with it very well. So I don't think I'll deal very well with, with like dentures. I, I just, I don't know, but it could actually come down to that before it's all said and done. But I mean, the pain, the pain, tooth pain is no joke. It is really horrible and it just drains you. I can't explain unless you've had a toothache. So if you had a toothache, give me a shout out down in the comments. <laughs> let me know you, let me know you feel me. <laughs> so anyways, but to, on to a much better subject and things that I like to talk about and enjoy talking about is nutrients, nutrition, orchid nutrients. Yay. All right. Orchid nutrients. Now, I don't normally, this is not the normal sea kelp that I usually use. I usually use first rays and um, I just like it better. There's, there's really kind of no difference between them. This one is just really, it's a dark, it's really processed. Um, whereas the first rays is really, I mean, it looks like it's just straight milked from the, the sea, seaweed. So, um, yeah, I do. I just prefer it more. But I currently, um, I went ahead and bought this because it was at a deal and it was a gallon. So um, it it all does basically the same thing. It's still sea kelp. It um, you know it'll do the same thing that I want it to do. Its purpose. So that's <laughs> that's good enough. That will work. And like I said, for the price, I couldn't pass it up. So, um, and then the other one is General Hydroponics um, Calamagic. Calamagic. This is calcium, 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 calcium. They love, orchids love calcium, calcium, calcium. Um, and this, this mixture that I'm mixing in the garbage cans, um, and I show you, I put the garbage cans to soak uh, over two days, not soak, <laughs> I put the garbage cans to set two days so that the chlorine and chloramines can dissipate out of it. And um, my starting water parameters in the um, garbage cans is 66 parts per million. This TDS meter is $15, $20 on Amazon. It is relatively cheap. It's a must-have. Anybody that owns orchids... You really should take the dive and just get you one. They're very important. Um, they will help you. I usually, what I do is, is I add, um, I, I do like 150 parts per million of the Calamagic and Sea Kelp mix to my actual tap water. So... And that's what I give. And that is that is also my welcome cocktail. That is what I do to any new orchid that I get coming in. I let them soak usually, sometimes overnight, sometimes just a couple hours, depending upon the plant and how I feel what it needs. 
but it's it's a real important first step for a plant. But right now I have been doing it in the midweek of when I'm not doing my regular fertilizer regime. And I've been doing it just mainly on my Phalaenopsis in the middle week. Um, everybody else is not getting fed weekly yet. Um, that will be coming up soon. We'll start getting really hot and um, these guys will need to be watered weekly. And um, so, but for right now, this is what I'm doing. And I'm going to show you how I do that. And you need a TDS meter to do it. So what I do is I start out, um, and I can even show you, I wrote it down. My barrel water is 66 parts per million. So we're going to add 100 parts per million of Calamagic till we till that TDS meter says 166 parts per million. So that's what we do. We will take, I will use, um, what I do is I use these little cups. <clears throat> I use these little, um, they're not, they're not quite, they're small shot glasses. They're not standard shot glass size, but I use this and I fill it and I put it in the garbage can and then I test it and I, I know just about how many of these it takes, but what you do is you just, you fill that up, you take it over, dump it in your garbage can, you stir it up and then you test it and you see until you get to 166 parts per million and then you stop. Okay, so hold tight and I'll show you this is what we do. Well, actually, I can show you. I mean, it's no big deal to show you that I'm pouring it in there. <clears throat> now, this is really strong stuff. So, in a smaller amount of water, you won't use that much. I'm actually going to go with that much. Okay. And, like I said, with smaller um, amounts, like, you just use drops. And I have... Um, Actually, I've got sea kelp in a dropper bottle, but I use this dropper bottle that um, allows me to just dip out little amounts of it, okay? So now hold tight, and we'll be right back. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to dump that in here, and we're going to stir it around, and then we will test the water. Hey, y'all. My channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. They have pots, they have media, they even sell orchids. Use my name, Code Hillbilly, in the code section for a 12% viewer's discount. They also do free shipping in the U.S. So go check them out, y'all. All right, now we're gonna bring the TDS meter back here. We're gonna turn it on. And we are at 94 parts per million. So we have to add some more to it. All righty, get that mixed up and then we come back and we are at 166 parts per million. So that's what we want. Now we have to go back and add the sea kelp till we get to 216 parts per million on this meter so hang tight and i will add the sea kelp all right there is the finished product <laughs> it is uh yeah it is definitely it's deep dark and uh yep um be careful too um Use, don't buy too much of what you can't use quickly because it will start to go bad on you. So that's another tip about the sea kelp. Um, don't, don't buy a big bottle because you're not going to use it really, really quick. So even though that was a deal for me to buy that big bottle, I can already tell that it's starting to go bad. So, yep. So there is our mixture of water for, um, for our... Um, watering this common week and also this um, is actually it's like a welcome cocktail like I said it takes care of all of the things 
So hang tight and we'll go back to the table. That's basically it y'all. Um, you just mix it until you get the numbers that you want on your meter like that. And it works out good. It is a good mixture for, um, like I said, it's a good welcome cocktail for new plants. And it is a good, um, even for in-between plants, like if you want to just rinse your pots with this, that's perfect. Um, it works really, really good and it does rinse out. But like I said, do be careful because um, keep that in a cool place as you can. Not like the refrigerator, but cool, you know, as cool as you can because um, it can go bad on you and um, that's why I usually like to only get it in bottles like this big because I can go through it before it goes bad um, and usually the uh, um, first ray sea kelp comes in a bottle about that size so it usually works out better for me um, and actually I thought I saw that uh, first rays was having a sale on there's a memorial weekend sale so I might go ahead and pick some up this weekend but um, yeah um, you can use, you know, there's different types out there and you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. I will leave, um, links in the, uh, comments or in the down below for these on Amazon and, um, first raise doesn't go through Amazon, but I can leave you a link for, Am for first raise as to where to get it from. Um, and I'll leave that in the, uh, it's not comments. I'll leave it in the description. <laughs> and uh, that way you can, if you're interested in the first rays, you can use first ray sea kelp. Um, but yeah, this is really good, uh, good nutrients for your orchids, you guys. Um, and like I said, I do the welcome cocktail. It's the same mixture, um, 100 parts per million of cow mag and 50 of sea kelp. And I soak any new plant I get in in that mixture and it works really, really good. So if y'all have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful, wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me. And bye for now, y'all, till we meet again.